Hello everyone. In this session, we will continue the next topic that is the speed equation. So, we already discussed about the EMF equation. EMF generated that is E equal P phi nz by 60 A. P phi nz by 60 A. So, from this we can write the speed formula. The speed equal speed equal E 60 A by P phi z. So if you observe here, here the 60 is the constant term, A is the constant term, number of poles also constant, number of conductors also constant. So finally, the speed of the speed of the any DC machine will depends on the two factors that is the EMF and second one is the flux. That means here the speed will depends on the two factors that is proportional to the EMF generated EMF generated and the second factor is flux second factor is the flux so that's why simple thing when if you know the EMF equation then the speed equation will we will get very easily that is speed is proportional to EMF and inversely proportional to the flux by depends on this we can control the speed also we can control the speed also next here next we will entering into the next topic that is the characteristics of DC generator so up to now we discussed about the DC motors now we are entering into the DC generators here we should discuss some characteristics regarding the DC generator the first thing that is open circuit characteristics OCC are magnetizing characteristics so here the meaning of open circuit characteristics means simply it is the simply we can write it is the we have to discuss a graph between EMF as well as EMF versus the field current EMF versus the field current EMF generated and versus the field current we will get the open circuit characteristics are the magnetization characteristics next load saturation characteristics here simply load saturation characteristics means we have some load voltage with that we have some saturation characteristics means you will get the field current where you are getting the saturation only field current we are getting the saturation if you are increasing the flux then simply at a particular point it will become saturated that is the field current okay so we can call it as the field current thing okay whenever we are doing the open circuit characteristics we should keep some important point that is here emf versus v v should be constant we should maintain the load voltage should be constant generally load voltage constant is not possible so we look at about look, look at after about this deeply about this right so the load voltage versus field current will give the load saturation characteristics next internal characteristics name itself and whenever we are doing the this load voltage versus we have to maintain some constant that is the armature current should be constant and the speed should be constant and power factor should be unity power factor should be one so these are the three points you should consider to discuss the load saturation characteristics next internal characteristics here name itself in internal emf versus the armature current internal emf versus armature current will be give the internal characteristics here whenever we are discussing these things speed should maintain the constant here speed should maintain a constant 
next external characteristics external means we have the load load voltage versus again the load current these are the external characteristics generally generated emf and armature current both are generated in internal part of the generator it is internally available but in case of load voltage and load current both are outside of the generator so that's why we can call it as the external part of the generator next the last point is compounding or armature characteristics of regulation curve uh, all are same compounding or armature characteristics and regulation curve this is a simple thing we will get the field current versus the armature current field current versus the armature current here we will get two things by doing this we will get the voltage should be maintained constant and the speed should maintain the constant two things are important here those are Compounding characteristics are armature characteristics or regulation characteristics are field current versus armature current. In this scenario, we should maintain voltage is constant and speed is constant. Okay. These are the characteristics of the DC generators. We will discuss from this from these some characteristics. In that the first characteristics is the OCC name itself it is the open circuit characteristics open circuit characteristics what is this meaning of open circuit generally so generally we have some machine for example if you take the DC shunt machine DC shunt machine we don't have it is a open circuited that means it is open and shunt machine we have uh, we are connecting a winding parallel with that although it is a open circuit the generated emf will generate and field will supply field will supply so if you vary the generated emf then the automatically field when you change the field current by applying this so it is moves like this is increases like this so generally if it is air gap line air gap line there is no losses air gap lines means there is low losses it will flow the this blue line it will flow the this blue line okay yeah and but practically the curve is like this look at this red curve practical curve is up to this field current at zero field current already some emf is available what, what is this effect this effect is the residual effect so this is simply at this point after the increment of the field current it will be increases to emf after reaching some particular point if if you are increasing the field current but emf will become the constant there is no slight change in emf or sometimes emf will be constant this is called the saturation of the emf okay this region is called the saturation you can name it as the saturation and why this with with zero current it has some emf this is called as residual magnetism residual flux or residual flux or residual magnetism so these are the two things will affect on the open circuit characteristics open circuit characteristics okay yeah so open circuit characteristics next we will discuss the load saturation curve load saturation curve load saturation curve means so name itself it is the voltage versus the field current voltage versus field current but we should have some important parameters that is the armature current is constant and speed is constant and power factor is become one power factor is become one okay 
if the field current increases if the armature is maintained constant still field current increases there is no increment there is the load voltage will be zero but at a particular point at a particular point of field current suddenly the load voltage will become the maximum and still we are increasing the field current still we are increasing the field current again it will reach the point and it will become the increases like this it will increases like this so it will maintain this type of the characteristics okay but the most important thing here armature current and the speed and the power factor all are the constant terms okay here that's why it is called the load saturation curve how you have to remember this load means load voltage vl and saturation means which will, which current will become the saturated generally the field current will become the saturated so that's why this is the graph between the load voltage and the field current okay so these are about the these are about the speed equation and characteristics of dc generator in that we are discussing OCC and load saturation characteristic. I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.